What's going on YouTubers? I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, I have decided to sell off my Psycho MK collection. So these are very rare and hard to get pieces. The quality is not the greatest. I mean, it is good on some pieces, better than others. Paint job could be good, could be better. I have had a few professionally repainted, but I just wanted to make this quick video to see if anyone wanted to buy some. If you buy, you know, many, I'll give you some discounts. Uh, I ship, uh, I like to ship in US. I will ship international, but you have to pay the exact shipping. And I will tell you the item cost, and I'll also put it in the description below. But let's go ahead and start off with my one-fourth scale. So first I have Ermac. So here he is. He stands 18 inches tall with a 2-inch base, so 20 inches tall. The green glow on his outfit and hands does glow in the dark. Comes with a gray base. One thing to note, he did have a damage here on the leg. He arrived broken. You will never see it. As you can see here, you will never see that. Looks really good here, you know displayed behind Sub-Zero and Scorpion. You know, those are the PCS 1 4th scale. The other uh, 1 4th scale will be my Scorpion. Uh, this is, <clears throat> the next 1 4th is Scorpion uh, by Psycho. Uh, he is in the Nether Realm pose. I did have this skull head professionally repainted. So there's that. The light up does not work. That's real chain. I myself painted that base. A few things to notate in regards to any sort of damage. Uh, both the swords <clears throat> are broken. These things are made incredibly cheap and they fell out and got damaged. So let me just show you. You know, you can see a little uh, break right there. It's basically glued. You can't really tell. They're just incredibly cheaply made. And so, this does come with an extra skull head, or an extra regular head like that head. So, <clears throat> that is Scorpion. It's one-fourth scale, 20 inches tall. So, uh, oh, I forgot to say pricing. So, Ermac, I'm doing <clears throat> $300. Scorpion, $500. Uh, these are all plus shipping. Next is Sub-Zero Fatality. This is very rare, about 20 made. It does come with a severed head of Scorpion. The light-up feature does not work. Some of these little like bands like this have broken off and are glued. You know, as you can see right there, that's glued. Not a big deal, will not notice. It is professionally repainted, looks much better than the original paint job, as well as the basis painted. He comes with an extra hand, just uh, where it's just a uh, fist not holding the Scorpion costume. Due to the rarity, I will sell this for $900 plus shipping. I do have all these on eBay right now, so please message me immediately if you are interested so I can remove it from eBay before someone bids. You know, and these two are very rare, so, you know, message me immediately if you're interested. Next is Scorpion. Uh, I'm sorry, Sonia Blade. You can remove the sunglasses if you want. Uh, she's mixed media. Here's the base. A few things to notate. On the back of her hair right there, a little piece chipped off. I have it right there. It just needs to be glued on. And one of those little rebars broke off. Glued on. Cannot tell. Stands about 14 inches tall. There it is with PCS. My final 1 fourth scale from <clears throat> Psycho is Smoke. 20 inches tall. The base is about 20 inches wide. Very big statue. I did get the this head and the hands professionally repainted. The original paint job was absolutely terrible and I just could not stand it. So I got this repainted more of a tan color with realistic, you know, like skin texture as well as veins. The eyes look a lot better. There you can see the hair looks much better. Uh, so forgot to say, Sonia, I'm selling for 500 plus shipping because there's only like 30 of her made. Smoke, I'll do 250, or I'm sorry, 300 plus shipping. Uh, next is the 10 inch line. So first we got Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Selling them at $200 a pop. Uh, Sub-Zero, the light up works. Scorpion, small damage right here on the knee. That piece broke off, you cannot tell. That is it. Other than that, they look awesome. Good paint job on both. 
Next is Noob Cybot. This is the exclusive with the shadow. Very good paint job, big base. Uh, so that's a very good statue. I'm selling it for $250. Next is Sonya Blade. Uh, her costume looks good. Only problem is the face is kind of ugly. But the paint job is good. She does have her little energy blast holding a gun. Goes well with Noob Cybot. Selling her for $125 plus shipping. Luke Kang comes with two fists, one with a heart, one without. Now, pretty decent uh, paint job. The sculpt on the abs, I think, is a little too ripped, but I'm selling him for 200. Raiden light up feature does work. Selling him for $350 due to the rarity, and he is the best 10 inch statue out there. Sculpt and paint job is excellent. And the hat is removable. Next is Motaro. Uh, this is incredibly rare, about 20 of them made. Paint job is decent, could be better, not horrible. You know, like as you can see right there, a little paint overflow, but it does look good. It's 16 inches tall in his classic uh, victory pose. Uh, due to the rarity, I'm selling him for $800 plus shipping. And keep in mind, all these do come with boxes. Next is the Infinity Concepts Goro. Selling him for $250 plus shipping. Also selling all three of the girls. Katana Molina, $125 or $250 for the pair plus shipping. Jade, $300. One thing to note, Jade, her hair did break off right there as you can see. But you cannot notice ever due to the way she is displayed. So there's the three girls. They stand about 12 inches tall each. I will also sell this Goro, it's just like a resin kit that was painted. This hair piece broke off and it's chipped, sell it for 60 bucks, shipped. <clears throat> so here are all the statues. I'm doing this so I can afford my pre-orders for the remainder of the year. I mean, in general, I don't want to sell this, but funds are becoming low. And I decided that, you know, I need to really focus my collection just on PCS and any like, <clears throat> you know, like those type of pieces, the extra characters. So I'm going to sell off a bunch of those MK9 characters, focus more on the classic and MKX. So if you are interested in any of these, please message me. Uh, you can email me at flankster, F-L-A-N-K-S-T-E-R-117 at gmail.com. I'm located in Utah. I ship same day paid. You can pay me via PayPal, Google Wallet, or Venmo. Uh, international, you do have to, you know, I do need to get you a quote before we proceed, but you get, uh, you'll get a slight discount from what I said if you purchase many. So message me immediately if you are interested. I have them all on eBay. I will leave my eBay link as well here. So if you prefer to purchase through eBay, by all means, go ahead and bid. They're all uh, right now on eBay. No bids yet. I posted them last night. I expect them to sell due to the rarity. So if you're a huge MK fan, you want to chance on some very rare statues. Several have been repainted. This is a big chance for you. My loss, your gain. I'm not trying to make a big profit off these. I'm just selling them for what I paid, basically. So just trying to get my money back, not trying to make a big buck. If I do, awesome. If not, you know, it's like I've rented the statues. But, you know, it's like... Sure, I'm selling Lotaro for 800 but that's how much he cost me. So, there it is. I uh, just wanted to make this quick video. Email me. Message me here if you're interested in purchasing any of these statues. And we can get the ball rolling and uh, spice up your MK collection. Also, you can uh, me message me on Facebook. My Facebook is uh, facebook.com forward slash flankster. Uh, message me there or befriend me and we can talk there. Thanks. Have a great day.